That's a three dollar bite. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another $20 food review. I'm Andrew from the Fung Bros and today I'm going to be eating a $20 burger. And I'm gonna let you know if it's worth it. Today we are outside of the counter in Pasadena and we are going to be trying their $20 bison burger. Now, here's the thing. I was looking around for burgers and there's actually not that many $20 ones. Like, burgers are really not that expensive, so usually on your fast food level, they'll range anywhere from, you know, one to six dollars. And then your next level, which is, uh, you know, your fast casual burgers, you'll probably be around from six to 12. And then even at gourmet spots, they're only selling their burgers for about 16 or 17 dollars. So when I saw this one that was 1950, I had to get it. And to be honest, I did not expect to find the $20 burger at the counter because the counter is just kind of like a regular burger spot. Although you can customize burgers there, this is not a customized burger. There is no fries that come along with it. There's no drink. This is not a combo. Uh, this, is, this is not an enormous burger either. This is just a regular burger for $20. Let's go see what's inside of it. All right, so guys, if you look at the menu here, 1750 Impossible Burger, you know, that's the vegan burger that's popping right now. And then here you got a 1950 Gouda Burger. This is on the same level as Umami Burger, which is considered a little bit more of like a sit-down restaurant, you know, a more nighttime spot, in my opinion. Um, Umami Burger's burgers only range up to $17, actually. So this one at 1950 is actually pretty expensive, man. I'm telling you, there are not that many burgers that are $20, unless you're getting like, a ridiculous like, I don't know, like, Wagyu burger, okay? But for just a regular burger at the counter where you can just sit outside and eat it, $20 is a lot. Organic bison, smoked Gouda, or you know, as they would say in the Netherlands, Hauda. Hauda. Smoked Hauda, bacon, onion, jam, sunny side up egg, baby spinach, scallions, house made Thousand Island, brioche bun. Only 960 calories, you know why it's only 960? and it's not as in the thousands, it's because actually bison meat is a lot leaner and has less calories and less fat than regular cow beef. What would you recommend for the bison is Gouda? Medium. Medium, yeah, let's do medium. Um, and that's just the burger, right? Okay, good, cool. Yeah, could I get the uh, Impossible Burger as well? Really, you can get the Impossible Burger cooked like. Yeah, no, that's good, man. What's going on, everybody, I'm here with Matt. You can't see me, my time is now. now. Okay, Matt, uh, you've eaten at the counter before. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Uh, I guess, what do you usually order at the counter? So I, I actually only order the Impossible Burger. This is like my go. If I go to this place, I only order this. Okay. I've, I've honestly never had any other ones. Oh, nice. I don't really think I need to. This okay. is like good enough for me. Yo, I'm not, wait, is that Impossible Burger red? It's weird. It's like eating plants as meat. Okay. So it gives you the same sensation as eating meat. But you're having plants. Right. So it does turn brown when you when they roast it or I, something? I suppose, yeah. I don't okay. know. The, my, my friend said that somebody invented uh, the cellular structure of meat using plants. And that's what this is. When you see the bison burger on the menu, that it's it's $20. That's, that is pretty pricey for a burger. Yeah, like, I agree. Yeah, I would say this is the most expensive kind of burger that yeah. I Yeah. What did you think about a $20 burger? Would you ever pay $20 for a burger? Or is it kind of like there's good like... good enough. If it's, I mean, I think there's more than just obviously you're paying for the experience too. You're paying right. for the, you know, where are they, you're being serviced properly or there's a little bit more than just the burger. But I would say, yeah. I mean, I paid, I, I, was, I was telling you earlier that I, I had a burger that's like $38. Okay. It was the best burger I've ever had. All right, everybody here, I got the $20 bison burger. Bison meat is actually leaner and has less calories and actually is overall healthier for you than regular beef. Bisons are like an ox, and oxes are like cows, and bisons are like buffaloes, so it's like a version of a cow. It's of the same family. Guys, here we got the bison patty, okay? You got spinach here. Okay, I don't know what kind of, there's a little, oh, this is the jam. Mmm, that's sweet. You got a nice sunny side up egg. You got the gouda cheese or the howda cheese. Look at that. Right there, oh, stretchy. That. Ooh, right there, boom. Wow, you can see all the layers here. Spinach, 
the bison patty, you got the jam, you got the egg, you got the bun. $20, the counter, bison meat. Let's see. That was a $3 bite. Mm, okay. Kind of a lot of spinach. Mm. That's a really clean taste. Can I tell that it's bison meat right off the bat? I can tell that it's leaner. I'm gonna call that the VIP bite because you know that's the bite in the middle where you get everything. Um, so the VIP bites are like probably the 70% uh, the of the burger that's inside the middle. You know, that's what you want to start off eating, especially if I'm doing a, a taste test. Mm. Okay. We'll say there's a little bit too much spinach, maybe not enough Gouda taste. I'm only washing stuff down with lemon water. Lemon water is probably the best palate cleanser. Okay guys, so I just had the bison burger, but before I give you the verdict on whether I think $20 bison burger is worth it, I'm gonna try this Impossible Burger. This burger is about $18, that's still pretty high. This is the vegan burger, there is no meat. Let's cut it up and see what happens. Okay, the bun is a little bit cold. Okay, taking a look at that. Mixed greens, tomato, you got your sauce here. Uh, caramelized onions, avocado. Okay, as you can see, even on the Impossible Burger, you can still get it kind of red. I'm, I'm very much a uh, meat eater. I am a, what you would call a carnivore. I gotta try this Impossible Burger. Meatless burger, $18. My quick take on this Impossible Burger, for me and the way it was set up, I don't think it had enough flavor. I think the avocado and the white sauce that was on it. Anyways, uh, Impossible Burger, quick take, and I know this is not a review on the Impossible Burger. I thought this one could have been better. A little bit more flavor would have been nice. The avocado is kind of taking away a lot of the flavor. To me, avocado only works in contrast with very flavorful things and very salty things. That's when avocado really does its job, but here, it's not that salty, not super flavorful, and the avocado just kind of brings it all down. Is the bison burger at the counter worth $20? As a regular burger, if it's just, if, if you're just looking for taste and you want that beef flavor, then I would say it's not worth $20. It's, uh, it's definitely a little bit, you know, I think for the size of the burger and what you got, the flavor was good, but it wasn't amazing. Um, so I would say no on that, however, they're gonna serve more bison meat in the future. Like even at certain school districts, they're thinking about using bison meat because uh, it's usually more organic. It's, it has a higher likeliness of being grass fed, which is better. Um, so that means it has leaner protein. It lives more freely. Um, it has a bunch of nutrients that regular cow beef doesn't have. Um, so I think on, on that way, looking at it like the big picture, and where kind of bison and buffalo meat is going, I would say, yeah, it's an experience. The patty itself, not amazing, but if you think about the health benefits, and if you're into that, I think that matters. $20 is pretty expensive. Like I said, for one burger, no fries, no drink. I'd say if you're really into the experience, check it out. But if you just want a tasty burger, it's probably not worth it. All right, everybody, so thank you so much for watching that video. In the comments below, let me know what other $20 items you want me to review. And if you know of a $20 item around the LA area, I wanna try it. I wanna check it out because 20 is a great price point. Yes, I stand by 20. More expensive than average, but not too expensive. $20 reviews. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. What if I told you there's like a $20 burger at the counter? Did you know that? It's gotta be something yeah, crazy. Yeah, probably yeah. gonna have like a lot of meat. And or it's gonna have some like. I was thinking like like luxury ingredients, if you know what mm. I mean. Like, like wagyu or like a short yeah, rib yeah, or something. Yeah, like, tossing like little beads of caviar. Oh. Yeah, and then some like reduction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some truffle oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this one is just bison meat.
You guys know what bison meat is? It's like, <laughs> it's like the hairy, kind of yeah, it's a buffalo, you're right. You know, what are you, a zoologist? You got it, but yeah, it's like a buffalo meat and it's actually healthier than beef meat. But I'm not like doing an advertisement for the counter, but I'm just saying that's what it was because I had to know what the $20 burger would get me. Yeah.